Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to disable certain keys on your keyboard. So first, we go to Microsoft Store and then we're going to search for this particular app, Power Toys. It's from Microsoft. It's a Microsoft app. So, and this is what it looks like, Power Toys. And then we'll go ahead and install it. But make sure it is Microsoft Power Toys from Microsoft itself. We'll go ahead and install this app by clicking on install. So we'll give it some time to install. Alright, so this has finished installing. I had to cut the video short so as to make this video as short as possible. So we'll go ahead and open Microsoft Power Toys. And then you go to Keyboard Manager, click Keyboard Manager. Ensure that Keyboard Manager is turned on this way. You can see. Ensure that this is turned on. Then go to Remap a Key. When you get to the map a key, then we are going to select a physical keyboard that we want to manage. So that particular key that you want to turn off for one reason or the other, you're going to select it here. So let's assume I want to um, disable control key. I'm going to go ahead and click on control key and then click all of the keys you want. Space key. I want to um, disable space key so I'll go over to map and then scroll down to disable click on disable and that is that is that so you can even disable more keys go ahead and disable more keys so some of the reason why you might want to disable some keys is because um, uh, sometimes some key gets um, sticky and they just keep typing over and over again by themselves so if you use this app you can disable certain keys that you don't need or that keep repeating itself or typing itself when you're done click OK continue anyway and that is done it's as easy as that so when you go to your physical keyboard and you try to type certain keys you will notice that the keys is no longer working so my space key is not responding the way it ought to so uh, so we go to the map key again and then I'm going to delete yeah so uh, let's try it now my space key is now working so what i did is just go back there and disable it disable it by just deleting that particular mapping i did on that key so it's as easy as that thank you for watching it remember to like and subscribe i'll see you in the next one